Here I am in London, Hyde Park, Serpentine Lake, man-made lake here at the heart of central London, recreational area. There is no swimming, no fishing allowed in the lake except designated areas. The dogs must be kept on lead. Do not allow them to enter the lake or disturb the wildlife. It is an offence under the Wildlife Countryside Act of 1981 to disturb the wildlife. It's a notification from the Royal Parks. Yet, when we come to disturbing the living matter across the world, we have no reasoning or no act. Every single act is broken in terms of extracting resources of our the true nature and the true natural life across the entire world. Even the national parks that have been allotted across the world for hunting purposes and for other reasons. The act does not really protect any wildlife. It is absurd that we have become a human society which are so reflective of what is very shallow in terms of our thought process to be able to understand and how we should be protecting our nature. Man-made creations, yes, to a degree we have reintroduced wildlife and by putting that notice people will behave and be adhered to. We don't need to do that when we have created a resource-based economics. Yeah. What we do is we create an area for recreational purposes and for living. And the natural resources are intelligently managed whereby you don't disturb the living matter of the planet. And by doing so, we don't need to instruct or have any acts. The acts to serve a few individuals but not to serve the Human, humanity and its wellness. The living environment is polluted. If you look at the lake itself, there's lots of plastic bottles and plastic being thrown across the actual lake. How are you protecting the, uh, the wildlife in that format? Uh, waste management is another way of earning money. And these acts does not stipulate the plastic thrown into the water as you can see just here the wrappers are packaging man-made man-created articles here I am at the serpentine lake on a monetary based system there's no free pedal boat ride for you or those rowing boats the citizens of the world would have to pay on hourly basis or half hourly slots to rent one of these pedal boats and in turn a scrupulous individual will make profit out of that how could be be reasonable in a profit-based economics where the money is the main directive in what you can have and what you cannot have and all of the uh, if you create what you call a resources enough of these pedal boats there will be any need for anyone to charge on a half hourly or any, any fee for the excitement and the entertainment of an individual or for a family. We need to be really mindful as to how we are going to manage going forward as pretty much on a resource-based economics you would produce enough so that one would not need to pay a time or one would not have to pay for the time that you are 
going to be using these pedal boats. Intelligent management of resources and intelligent management of products that we produce.